Hi, I'm Tim Morris with Cincinnati State Community College. Today I'm going to go over figure 41 on the AMT written test. This is in the ADACT for figures. Refer to figure 41. Determine how much fuel would be required for a 30 minute reserve operating at 2300 RPM. Um, this is something I think I've seen on the pilot test, and I don't know why it's on the AMT test, but it seems to be. And they're asking you for, they're telling you a half hour flight if you needed to do 30 minutes of flying at 2300 RPM. So let's look at this chart, figure 39. We'll start at this vertical line, the 2300 RPM. And before I go into this, this chart is really two charts in one. So we find one answer on one curve and then we go over to the other. So we're going to do this in two steps. So let's start here at the 2300 RPM line. We're going to take this up till it intersects this propeller load horsepower curve. Okay, from here where we hit the curve, we're going to go to the left and we're going to read horsepower. We're going to go straight to the left and read the horsepower at 2300 RPM. And our answer is 110. Back at the 2300 RPM curve, we're going to go up until it intersects this uh, load or this uh, specific fuel consumption curve. Okay, where it hits this curve, we're going to go to the right, straight over to the right, and read the specific fuel consumption for our RPM, and that is 0.46 pounds per hour. So what this curve is telling us is that we're going to burn half a pound per hour for each engine horsepower. So there's going to be a little bit of math involved here shortly. Um, so the engine here we can see burns 50.6 pounds per hour at 110 horsepower. So what we do is we multiply 110 by 0.46. So it's a two-step process, and then we have this uh, uh, multiplication at the end. Let's look at another question. Determine the fuel consumption with the engine operating at cruise 2,350 RPM. So this one seems a little easier. We're going to go to this 2,350 RPM. And here we can see it intersects the um, horsepower curve. And then we go straight over to the left and we read uh, 118 horsepower. So back to the line, 2350 RPM up to the prop brake load. And we're going to find the specific fuel consumption at 0.47 pounds. So then we're going to do the math again. It's 118 multiplied by 0.47 gives us 55.46. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.